Hello there, it's Courtney and welcome back to another away day vlog. Most I've ever done in this season I've been at Chelsea and Newcastle and now we're on the Wolves today. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. I've got some bad news when it comes to the team. Trent is still out with a hamstring injury and of course Verge still serving the suspension. But bit of good news, it looks like Ibu Kanate might be back. He's been back in training, fingers crossed from that he makes it into the squad. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to today. I've never been to Wolves before, never been to the Molineux, but fingers crossed it's a good game and I think I've got a really good suit for it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to actually get the train this time instead of the coach. train worked out cheaper for me, um, quite a lot. So I'm going to head to Lime Street now and hop on the train. Um, but it's only like a 15 minute walk to the stadium so it's not that bad. But yeah, international break. Didn't really pay much attention to the football apart from seeing Soboslai absolutely bossing it for Hungary. Um, scored a brilliant free kick goal, absolutely amazing. And then... One of the best passes I've ever seen. He's in his own box. Um, and instead of just passing it to the keeper, now he goes, I can see one of my teammates down there. Shoots the ball down to set his teammate up for the attack. And it's a spot on ball. It is one of the best passes I've seen. Um, but yeah, that being said, then I'm going to go and start heading to my train before I miss it. Probably might try and speak to you a bit on the train about the football or you'll see me once I'm at Le Mans you. Um, once we get team news, I'm going to see if I can see the coach coming possibly. Um, I always like doing that in the way games just so sort of see what it's like there compared to Anfield um, and usually you actually get to see the players come off with at Anfield you can't see that so we'll see what happens but yeah I'm gonna go feels weird doing so many away but I'm loving it absolutely loving it can't wait I hope the atmosphere in the away end is bouncing um, I'll definitely be screaming and shouting and singing quite a lot but yeah that being said I'm gonna head to Lamb Street now part of the stand which is actually all out from undercover and there's actually it almost looks like it's outside the stadium um, but there's actually people sitting there watching the game from there which is pretty unusual I think. Team news is out in goal we have Alison Becker back four of Gomez, Kwanzaa, Mata, Robertson and um, so yet to see if Canate is on bench, Canate is on bench, just checked, um, which is good news. Um, then in midfield we have Soboslai, McAllister and Curtis Jones. Then up front we have Salah, Gakko, Jota. Um, so a bit of a change since the last game, no Nunez starting. Um, yeah, it's pretty decent side. The bench is Kelleher, Canate, like I said, is back from injury. Simicus, Badgeter making his debut on the bench. Ryan Gravenberch, now I forgot to mention in the um, little intro at the beginning that obviously this will be Graven Birch's first time with the Liverpool squad whether he comes on or not is yet to be seen hope he does I think it'd be really nice to see him come on um, but yeah with the national break I won't lie I completely forgot this morning that we had a new player and what a decent new player he seems to be fingers crossed for me he has quite a good career here um, and then we also have Endo on the bench Harvey Elliott, Nunez and Diaz. Now I see both Nunez and Diaz coming on at some point. Um, and I'd hope to see Graven Birch and Canate come on. Um, we'll just have to see how the game goes, what way it takes us. If, if we're dominating then yeah I think Diaz and Nunez comes on. But if it's a bit more, we need a bit more defensive help then I think Ibu comes on and possibly Endo as well. Um, we haven't seen too much of Endo yet but he does seem quite promising. But yeah, um, I'm going to head in now and try and see them warm up and that, but nervous as always before the game, but I'm excited for this one, so let's go in.
What a comeback yet again from Liverpool after Newcastle the other week. Um, I am made up with that. My leg is killing me because when um, Robbo scored, he came over right in front of us. Everyone just piled over. I've whacked my leg off a seat, but it was worth it because what a game, what a comeback. Obviously, getting beat 1 0 at half time. Second half, we score three goals and win 3 1. Um, I believe I said it was Mo Salah. And I believe it was Cody Gakpo that scored the first goal, um, looking back on Sky Sports. Then we had Andy Robertson with the second, and then the third, in my opinion, Harvey Elliott's goal. I know um, a lot of the sports apps are saying it was an own goal. I'm going to watch it back later, but in my head it's still Harvey's goal because his celebration was mental. He went and jumped in with the crowd and everything. It was amazing, I say. Um, but yeah, um, I thought Kwanzaa, really, really good looking young player. Um, really, really impressed by him. First half, it didn't look like anybody wanted to play. I think McAllister was too tired and shouldn't have started, in my opinion. Um, I think he's too tired coming back from international break. I was made he started Endo instead, give him a chance. Um, but then second half, we obviously then bring on Luis Diaz in place of McAllister and that second half was a completely different game. I am um, a lot better from us. And then obviously Nunes comes on later on. I thought Nunes played pretty well when he came on. He seemed I, the one thing I like about Nunes, I know he's not a goal scorer a lot of the time, but when he comes on, you can see the fire and you can see the fight. So it was a really good game. But yeah, just made up two really crazy comebacks. Um, in a row when it comes to away games so but it currently means Liverpool are, are top of the league until Man City play later on today um, this video will be out after the Man City game so we'll see what ends up happening there um, 
but yeah really good i'm gonna go and get the train back now i just want to say if anyone's ever coming up all of the way trains are really good option i found it was um very quick and easy to come in when they're running not when they're striking obviously um and i only paid 20 quid for a return so it was brilliant but yeah i'm gonna head home my voice is killing me um but yeah limbs everywhere during that second half and with that being said i'll see you all next time bye